To take a uh, grid bearing is a very, very simple, straightforward procedure. And I'll just give you an example of the correct way to do it. I'll just zoom in so you can see it a bit, a bit clearer. Now, say for instance, I was on the end of this track here, and I want to make my way to the end of this track here. So that's where I am, and that's where I want to go to. So what I would do, just zoom out, is get my compass and place the edge on the map from where I am to where I want to go and making sure that the direction of travel arrow on the compass is actually pointing in the direction that I'm traveling so I'm there and I'll go to there so you put the edge from where you are to where you want to go making sure the direction of travel arrow on the compass is actually pointing the direction of travel and then all, all you do is the compass housing making sure that the red needle or red arrow or the north on the compass housing is pointing to the north to the top of the map then you just line up the orienting lines on the compass housing with the eastings which is the lines that run up and down and across the map make sure it's parallel and that and the index line there that's the bearing that's my compass bearing now to get to the end of that track to where I want to go which is the end of that track all you would do is hold your compass flat and you just swivel your compass round until the red end of the magnetic needle is pointing to north on the compass housing and then the direction is travel arrow on the compass itself the base place that will be pointing to the direction I want to start walking. So if I walk on that bearing, I'll come from that track there and I'll arrive on that track there. And it is really as simple as that. But there are three common mistakes that, that you can make. Now bear in mind, you'll be using your map and compass in the great outdoors. It's not always a nice fine sunny day, nice dry, still conditions. It could be at night, it could be in the mountains, it could be blowing a gale, it could be windy, it could be snow, it could be a whiteout. Conditions could be pretty horrendous. Um, so that it, it, it is very common to make a mistake, or, or very common to likely make a mistake if you're not careful. And it can be life-threatening. Uh, the first mistake, and you may think some of these are pretty, you know, not obvious, like the bear in mind the weather conditions um, it, can, it is pretty easy to make a mistake if you're not careful about what you're doing first thing is the map could be upside down could be come upside down like that so if you know where you are which is the end of that there at that track there and you want to get to that track there so you, what you do is you get your compass you place it from where you are to where you want to go, direction of travel arrow, pointing the direction you want to travel, and then you take your compass housing, and then you do as before, just line up the uh, oriented lines on the on the compass housing with the eastings on the map. Now then, that bear in there, that will be exactly 180 degrees in the wrong direction. So instead of walking from the track heading in that direction to that track there, you'll actually be walking in that direction. You'll be 180 degrees off course. And the second common mistake, you've got your map the right way around. The easiest way to, to find out, you know, if your map is it's obvious, is that you can read the writing. The writing won't be upside down. But as I say, it, you can make a mistake. So the uh, second mistake is, so that's where you are, that's where you want to go. So you place your compass, you line up where you are to where you want to go, where you are to where you want to go, I should say. Um, but you've got your direction of travel arrow is pointing the wrong way. It's not pointing in the direction of, that you want to travel, because that's where I am, that's where, where I want to go. But I've got the compass the wrong way around direction of travel arrow is not pointing the direction of travelling so you set it up like that do the same again 
line up the, the two lines. And there again, that on the index line there, that bearing will be 180 degrees in the wrong direction. So instead of walking from there to there, you'll be setting off and God knows where you'll end up. And the third mistake is you've got your map upright, the right, the right way. You've got your compass the right way, the edge of the compass, to where you are, to where you want to go, direction of travel arrow pointing to where you want to go. But the third mistake is instead of with the north and the red and the north on the compass housing pointing to the top of the map, you can line up the oriented lines with the north pointing to the bottom of the map. Once you've done that, there again, that on the index lane, that bearing will be 180 degrees in the wrong direction. So that's it, those are the three common mistakes that you can make and they can be life-threatening. Oh yeah, and uh, before I go, um, I just mentioned magnetic variation. Someone is bound to ask um, to adjust, you know, from, from when you take in a grid bearing to a magnetic bearing, you adjust for magnetic variation. But the magnetic variation in Britain is so small, there's no need to do it. There's no need to adjust.